Can Christians and atheists get along? Can we be friends? Must we fight all the time? Must we? Why can't we all just get along? Now, I was in a discussion this morning with Mr. Godless Cranium, and it was a really heated, really intense, really just aggressive, all-out, no-holds-barred... No, I'm kidding. It was, it was really mellow. It was really laid back. It was exactly as I expected it to be. And, uh, matter of fact, he said to me, jokingly, uh, it was also Stephanie was in the discussion with us. He said to us jokingly that he was high while we were having a discussion. And maybe it was certainly plausible. Certainly plausible. He seemed really mellow and laid back. So, you know, I wouldn't rule it out, but I don't think he was. So, then we come to find out afterwards someone is talking on Twitter. And the question they're throwing out for discussion, the guy's name is Derek the Viking. And here's what he has to say on the subject. He says, I think there's a false question here. It isn't whether or not atheists or Christians can be friends. It's more or less whether or not anti-theists and religious people be friends. Ultimately, I say no. Hmm. You can maintain illusion of friendship, but just know there's a dagger waiting. Yeah. Those atheists, those atheists, they got the dagger waiting. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so in the context of what he's talking about, and he uses the word anti-theist, and actually we discussed a little bit of that in our conversation this morning, because Godless Cranium does consider himself an anti-theist, and so do the people in his crew, uh, Shannon, Drew, and a bunch of the others. Now, keep in mind, I consider these like the cool guy atheists, as far as I'm concerned. I've never had any problem with any of them, and I don't anticipate that I ever will, in terms of their behavior. Um, this guy, Derek, goes on to say, I mean, I have no problem with atheists in and of themselves. Some of the kindest people I know are atheists. Well, okay, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're all right. I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're the kindest people I know, but, you know, they're nice. All right, fine. Kindest people I know. Shannon's the kindest person I know. All right, whatever. Uh, ultimately, I think in order for there to be any sort of friendship, there has to be at least a common interest. Anti-theists and theist interests are just way too different. Well, technically, we're a different... We have totally different agendas. And the only time that, that could potentially be complicated is on Twitter itself or in YouTube itself. Because that's the reason why most of us are talking to each other to begin with. I'm on Twitter trying to present a version of Christianity that ultimately I think will be more palatable to anti-theists, ironically. And they're on Twitter and YouTube trying to dismantle religion altogether. So you would think that would produce a lot of contentious quarrels, but it doesn't seem to. Why is that? Well, first of all, it has a lot to do with their personalities. Um, those particular group of people, yes, they have completely different opinions from me on the subject of religion. And ultimately, their opinions are pure evil. No, <laughs> all right, fine, pure evil. Um, but they go about practicing their pure evil in a way that is, you know, they come, they present their case, they're respectful, they're civilized, they're reasonable, they're sane, well-dressed for the most part, as far as I can tell. And they present their case in a way that's perfectly reasonable and rational. So there's no reason for me to not dislike them or in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. And I would think the same thing is true in the reverse. You know, if I'm, if I'm presenting to them Christianity in a way that's, you know, I'm not being annoying about it, I'm not being aggressive about it, I'm not in their face telling them this, that, or the other thing, you got to burn hell if you don't believe me, and I'm being perfectly reasonable... I see no reason for them to, to, you know, that we could not be friends. The, the other thing is, like, let's take, for example, the situation with me and my wife. My wife and I have completely different opinions on politics, completely opposite. And I know what she thinks on almost every political subject under the sun. I know what, what her opinion is going to be. But we never fight about politics, ever, ever, you know, because I, I know what she thinks. There's no point to arguing about it. And I don't really care what she thinks about on. She's free to think whatever she wants. So we never, ever argue on the subject. And if you are hanging out with an atheist, 
It's a little more complicated in terms of the environment that we're on in Twitter because that's what we're here to do, present our cases. So the, the bone of contention between us comes up every single time we talk <laughs> because that's why we're here. But in the real world context, you put it this way. If I were working with somebody with God, like Godless Cranium, could I be friends with them? Of course, easily. It would probably go down something like this. The first week I work with him, he's, I'd say, you're an atheist? He'd go, yeah. And I'm like, I'm a Christian. You should really become a Christian. And, go, and he'll go, you have any evidence for that? <laughs> and then we'll, you know, we'll get annoyed with each other and we'll drop the subject and then we'll talk about other things. Maybe we'll talk about, you know, maybe brings it up. Maybe we'll bring it up once every two months, you know. Every once in a while, I'll go, by the way, Jesus loves you. And he'll go, you know, by the way, I just ate Christian babies. You know, we, it's not something that we come up very frequently. And then you can be perfectly good friends. You change the subject. You talk about other stuff. The only reason these things drive wedges between people is a couple of different reasons. First of all, it's, the, it's your approach to how you go about presenting your case. That's a big one. It's also the intensity and the, the, the how aggressive you want to be about presenting your case in terms of if it ain't on the table to be talked about, why would you be bringing it up? If you're working, shouldn't necessarily be coming up. You know, if you're doing something together that has, that's why my wife and I almost never fight about politics because we both know what each other thinks. Very seldom do we bring it up in a way we have conversation about politics every single night. But very seldom do we bring it up in a way to debate each other because we know exactly what the other person thinks. There's no point in doing that. And when we're doing other things, it just doesn't come up. You know, it's not something we... So, yes, I think absolutely Christians and atheists can be friends. Um, it's kind of... It's a no-brainer. It, a lot of it has to do with... First of all, how personally you take other people's opinions. That's another thing. You know, what, what godless cranium believes about God or no God, that's not really all that important to me in my own life. I don't take his opinions on things personally. He's free to believe whatever he wants. It's not, it's, it's not a reflection on me. It's not something I feel I have to defend against all the time. You know, we do it in the context of... YouTube discussions and YouTube debates because that's what we are there to discuss and debate. But if we were working together, I'd never bring it up. I have, fr I have friends from high school who don't even know I'm a Christian. And I have friends from college who, who don't know I'm a Christian. Or know marginally. Brought it up once or twice. I don't feel any compulsion to like make sure they know all the time and push, push it on people constantly. So there's really no reason why you can't be friends. There's no reason why you can't get along. You can have differences of opinion. You know, you just don't, you just allow the other person to have their opinion on the subject. It's really simple. They're, you know, even with his opinion, like, like technically that's at variance with each, we are, with each other. He's trying to dismantle something that I'm trying to practice. Okay, that's, that's pretty divergent. But still, it depends on how you're going to go about. Is he going to hold me personally accountable for being a Christian every minute of the day? Then yeah, we won't be able to get along. But he doesn't do that. That's my point. Is he going to try to convince me that atheism is true 24 hours a day? That would get a little annoying. But I doubt he would do that. You know, if you're a reasonable human being, you can have a completely different opinions and, and you can both go about practicing your living your lives in ways that they don't necessarily interfere one with the other. So yes, Christians and atheists can be friends. That's that's all. Amen.